This is the Waterman Karen fountain pen. If I show you what's inside, it comes with um, a cartridge. You can reorder the cartridges in this sort of a box, but it only comes with one in the box. At least that's what I got, the long Waterman's. This is Florida Blue. Also comes with your standard instruction manual on how to ink it if you've never used a fountain pen. And a converter. And a piston fill, just very easy. And your little guarantee should for the warranty should you need to service it for any reason. If you want to take a look at the actual pen itself, it is engraved with triangles all the way around the cap. You can see that here. It also has a very thin cap band and it says Waterman on one side, France on the other. It has an engraving that has the Waterman hexagon and a stylized W at the top of the pen clip. Super flexible pin clip. Has a little slit um, in the pin clip here. You, just uh, more narrow than some of the other Watermans that I've seen and it has a tapered design end to end as you can see. Um, it's a pull off cap which I love and the other end of the body has a sort of an eye shaped metal decoration with a black dot in the middle. If we pull off the cap and post it you can check out the inlaid nib. 18 karat gold palladium plated inlaid nib that also applies to all the other finishings on this. It has a resin body and plastic section. And uh, the nib itself is pretty flexible for an 18 karat. And I'll write with it so you can see. This is the Waterman Karen, and let me just show you. Writes really well. Super smooth writer. When I first started writing with it, it had been shipped from Waterman, and I it did not write very well. It skipped and started, and I couldn't figure out why. Then I cleaned it and uh, reinserted a cartridge and it wrote just fine. So uh, word to the wise, make sure you clean out your nibs before you start writing with them. This um, specific sample is the Waterman Karen in uh, medium nib. You can also get fine or broad. Um, I know that they're both available, although the medium is easiest to find. And it's a rather wet line and a smooth writer. If you'd like to see more pictures of it, you can check it out on my website at bestfountainpen.com.